Hey everybody, welcome back to Tipped Out, Neon here, and today we're going to do a summoning video. I have, where are we here, we got one Light and Dark Scroll that we got for the monthly event for logging in. We got 11 Mystical Scrolls, and we have one set of exclusive summoning, hoping to get that Chloe. Chances are, we'll get her, right? Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to summon uh, one at a time, and I'm going to review the monster, uh, how to ruin them what to use them in, if they're any good, uh, based on my opinion and based on more like mid-game, not late-game, so more mid-game style gameplay. So we're going to do that right now. So we'll start off with Mysticals. Alright, here we go. Whoa, good start. Liking that. Who do we get? Ooh, we got Ryan. Alright, I already have Ryan, which is good, so I can use that for food. Awesome. Alright, so Ryan's first skill, Combat Knife Attacks a Target enemy with daggers increases your attack power for the next two turns okay next one is attacks an enemy sorry sharp strike attacks the enemy and inflicts continuous damage for two turns this attack will also decrease the enemy's defense for two turns if you get a critical hit all right and then dagger dash swiftly attacks an enemy three times with each attack also dealing continuous damage damage for one turn if this attack lands a critical hit it would also disturb the enemy's hp recovery for two turns so that's actually what i have for my ryan i did a video on him the other day this is what I got for him. I got him on 100% crit rate. Uh, he's on attack, no, HP, attack, HP crit rate and attack. There we go, on Violent Revenge. Uh, it's, I use him for dungeons. Uh, he's also good in Arena. He hits crits for about 10K with his buff and armor break on his second skill. And then he hits about 15 when he does the same on his third. And then maybe about 4,000 per uh, of the double. So about 8,000 on the first skill. So I really like him, uh, Dungeons is good, you can ruin him full out attacker like Trevor, he is really hard, good for Arena as well. Wow, it's a good start, too bad I already have one, but still a good start, he's a good monster. Next one. Alright, no landing, we'll skip it. Alright, Water Werewolf, what do we have? Attacks enemy with claws and disturbs the enemy's HP recovery for one turn, alright. Recovers the HP of all allies by 15% each and increases the attack speed for two turns. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, shred. Attacks enemy three times. Each attack has a 35% chance to decrease enemy's defense for three turns. The damage of this goes... Uh, whoa. The damage of this attack increases according to your max HP. And the leader skill of attack power of all other monsters in guild battles is increased by 21%. Okay, well, I know people use him in guild battles and in arena. Uh, they give him tons of HP. I uh, don't use him myself. Uh, I've heard Swift with like uh, speed, HP, HP is good because he attacks, he's faster than you'd think. Uh, all HP is fine to make him really tanky. Uh, you can put like crit damage on him so he can, if he crits on this skill. Um, violent, violence good on him as well. Uh, I don't use many worlds so if you guys know a good build for him let me know. But I would probably do like a, a t I build him as a, a tanky attacker. So like maybe like an HP, crit damage, HP for this third skill to hit, hit harder. Uh, and yeah. All right, next monster. Okay, the Wind Grim Reaper. First skill: Grim Scythe reaps the life of an enemy with a deadly scythe. Requires an additional turn of gets an additional turn if the enemy dies. Dice inflicts damage to all enemies with deadly scythe. Always lands a critical hit if the enemy's HP is lower than 30%. Or lower, sorry. And uh, death penalty predicts the enemy's death with a wind of heavens. The damage increases as your HP decreases, and the cool time is removed if the enemy dies. Hmm. So single target nuker, so you probably r rage blade, attack for damage, attack. Uh, you don't need like 100% crit because this will crit if he's less than H less than 30 HP. Uh, the wind one is not so good. Most people feed him for like the dark one. Uh, the fire one's okay. Uh, I would say food, but uh, if you want to build them, yeah, I go standard attacker, attack, attack for damage, attack. Okay, next monster. Fire Viking. Throwing axe. Attacks with a flying axe and inflicts continuous damage for three turns with 30% chance. Alright. Crushing armor attacks an enemy and decreases the enemy's defense for two turns. The damage increases according to your current HP situation. Whatever that means. And leader skill increase attack power all in monsters by 15%. I've heard he could be used in dungeons, but that was a long time ago. I don't think he. I feel like he's food right now. Hey, there's my leader trying to talk to me. Um. Yeah, so. Uh, you could, uh, make him like a hybrid. I wouldn't really use him food. I would just say food. Alright, next. Ooh, lightning! Here we go. 
Who they get? They get Chloe? Oh shit, they got Chloe! Oh yes! Mm! Oh! Oh, I'm so pumped. I don't even need Chloe for the exclusive summons. I've never. Oh! Oh, it's my first Chloe! Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, everyone knows what Chloe does. It's this skill, Fanatic. Oh, and I'm like working on building a. Ah, oh, of getting the Valkyrie for a fusion. Oh man, I'm so excited. Fuck yeah. Uh. All right, Chloe, uh, you want her like super fast uh, and really tanky. Uh, swift or violent works. I'm probably gonna go like swift. Oh man, I'm so happy about Chloe. Chloe's, uh, everyone knows Chloe, so I don't even really need to review her. Fuck yes. Oh, oh that's the best man of my day. Uh, Bernard, when Griffin, everyone knows what he does. Use him for this skill. As much speed as you can, swift. Uh, HP, defense, uh, sorry, speed, HP, defense, all swift, focus, uh, so he can land his, uh, debuffs on his second skill here, um, oh, I'm just so <laughs> fucking happy, oh my goodness, yes, uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> so really fast, mine's at like 230 speed or something, lots of strats are trying to get him to 300 with, uh, enchantments and stuff you can do now, uh, you want him to be as fast as possible, some guys go crit damage, because if he crits on this with a really high attack speed, he can hit pretty well, Okay, so just tons of speed on Bernard. Uh, Fire Minotaur. Uh, I would just say food. I don't even want to review him. Attacks with horns, provoke. Okay, provoke's kind of nice for QA bosses. Attacks with an axe increases your attack edge with 50%. You get a critical hit. Runs towards enemies. Yeah, just food. Not good. Food. Next. Suri. Uh, wow, we're getting lots of four stars. I don't even. Fuck, I missed him. Let's go find him. Sorry. He is here. Aims, aim body. Aim for the body and shoots your chances of missing are decreased by 30%. Okay. Uh, aims for the head. Aim head. Aims for the head. Increase crit rate by 30%. Stuns many if you get a crit. Okay, so we'll need him on 70%. Attacks enemy with, a, enemy with aerials that can be removed and weakens the defense for two turns with a 75% chance for each attack. Blocks enemy from getting beneficial effects from this third's HP recovery. Single target nuker, attack or damage attack, I would say. Like violent, revenge, um, rage blade. I would probably just feed him. I don't, you don't need him. Oh, wrong one. Next one, summon. Drunken master, fire, rolling punch. Ugh, he's just, no, nah, it's just food. Don't, don't use him, he's food. Water fairy, starting monster, everybody knows what she does. Uh, you can use her. Like fatal uh, HP with the HP, but I would just say food as well. He's only really early game. Ooh, Talc, he's good. Make him super tanky. Uh, based on his, make him like HP, HP. Maybe I don't know if you want him on. I don't know if you want him too fast. Maybe like energy guard, some some like that for an offset. Uh, you might. This this is a good provoke battle charge. This is what he's use, big 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 useful for. And then he's got this super. Uh, tanky skill. I haven't had an option really to use him yet, uh, but yeah, tons of HP on him. I don't really ha know what set you'd want with him. I think he'll probably go violent, uh, but maybe just like all energy. Uh, it's probably not good. If you know any of the build for for Talc, then uh, put in the comments below. I don't really know. I haven't used him, so I can't really say much. Okay, let's do light and dark. Let's see what we get for this. No lightning. Can we get a werewolf? Fire drunken master. Cool. I already got the Chloe, so I'm fucking happy. Rolling Punch, that's just like every Drunken Master. Uh, decrease attack power for one turn, 80% chance. Kicks enemy unsteadily and gains another kick. Another th Man, this Chloe thing just blew my mind. Gets another turn after the enemy dies. Unleashes, okay, Snake Punch. Unleashes three point pack, uh, deals continuous damage. Uh, he's just, I don't really, really know to use him. He's probably just gonna go in my storage. Increases the crit rate of, ooh, this increases the crit rate of all allies for two turns. I didn't. Oh, I need a. I need a crit buffer. I've been. I haven't been using seeks. I can. I keep him. I go him on swift. Uh, like a speed attack, attack or something. Unleashes three point attack, which deals continuous damage for one turn. Oh, so he can do a triple. Okay. All right. Well, I'll look into him. Okay, and then we'll just do this summoning exclusive summoning here. So we get fire mentor, and now I'd say food. All right. Well. That is fucking sweet, cause I. Where is that Chloe? I'm locking her right now. Boom! There she is. All right, guys. Well, there you go. I think that's a pretty good video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and uh, dislike it if you found anything I did wrong. If you didn't like it, 
uh, let me know. That's why they're there to like and dislike. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it and you have any comments on the monsters, how to ruin if I said someone's food and you don't disagree, put in the comments below what you think and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.